New in the Black Label range from 101 Films comes Tammy and the T-Rex, a movie that I hadn't heard about until last year uh, when it, it first came onto my radar. Now, I think the movie is completely bonkers and utterly wonderful, but it's not for everybody, but if it's your kind of magic, I think you'll really love it. Now, the story revolves around Tammy, played by Denise Richards, and her boyfriend, uh, played by... Paul Walker and they're having a typical kind of relationship. There's some bullies in town that are kind of picking on Michael and when he gets in an accident and almost die or does die, a crazed scientist decides to take his brain and put it into an animatronic T-Rex's body and Michael comes back from the grave. He is alive in this animatronic T-Rex. He's trying to rekindle his relationship with Denise Richards and it's just incredibly bonkers and fun. Shot on a, a small budget sim uh, simply because the director had access to an animatronic T-Rex and he created this story and filmed this wonderfully uh, crazed movie that stars two huge stars in the forms of Denise Richards and Paul Walker. Walker's not in it as much um, but it has this hilarious and wonderful scenes and it is rather violent a movie as well but it's kind of tongue-in-cheek in certain moments and I really appreciate that about the film. When you go into this don't expect logic or a perfect storytelling but there is a remarkably amount of accomplishment in the filmmaking itself. It has certain moments that are funny, that are actually quite endearing, that are humorous, eh, lots of levity taken here, eh, particularly with the scientist and his, his cohorts who I think were incredibly fun. Like I said, the violence is actually eh, gorier than I was first expecting and I just had a lot of fun with Tammy and the T-Rex and I think it's just wonderful that it's fitting in to this black label range um, which is just terrifically uh, tickles my funny bone actually just thinking about that. Now we're going to have a quick look at the disc and see what kind of extras are on this as well so let's dive into it. Okay so here we have the main menu for Tammy and the T-Rex and we are just going to jump over into the extras and have a look uh, what this disc has in store. Now we have a commentary with the director Stuart Raffle and Diane Kierman. Now this is quite an insightful and fun commentary. They obviously have a great deal of love for the movie. Stuart Raffle is really proud of it uh, and it just comes across with some really nice anecdotal information and some fun conversation. Next up we have Blood Brains and a teenage T-Rex. This is an interview with director Stuart Raffle again. It's 22 minutes in length. And like I said, he is really uh, exuberant. He is excited to be talking about this movie, has lots of fun information, and is just happy that it's been rediscovered. And it comes across the interview. Again, there is a little bit of duplicate information, but it's fun to see him just tell his tales and reliving this uh, making of the movie. Next up, we have A Blast from the Past, which is a 12 minute interview with Denise Richards. Now, Tammy and the T-Rex was her first movie and to see her going back and talking about it with a little bit of trepidation, you know, the movie has a bit of a reputation, but she obviously has a, a little bit of love for it. It was her first uh, performance. I think she, she does great coming back and talking about it. You know, a lot of people who would move on from these type of movies wouldn't engage, but she does, and I think it's just wonderful having her on the disc talking about the movie. Next up, we have Having the Guts, an interview with Sean Whelan, which is 12 minutes, who is one of the lackeys of the bad guys, and he is just talking about his career, which is quite interesting, uh, talking about how he got into the business, how he got the role, what his performance was and what he was doing in it. It's just quite a nice little add-on. Last kind of interview we have here is a testicular standoff, which once you see the movie is one of the standout scenes within it. And it is an interview with George Pilgrim, 25 minutes in length, talking about his career, uh, how he got the job, where he went, 
um, his life and, and things like that. And what I really like about a lot of these interviews, particularly the last two, is people that didn't have grand careers. Just journeymen that were working along, taking the jobs, maybe never lasting the distance in the entertainment business. And hearing their tales are just fascinating uh, and so worthwhile. Then last we have the full length PG-13 cut of the movie, which is a lot of the gore removed from it. Now I kind of like my movies with a little bit of blood and guts and this has it, so I don't think that's something I'm fully going to use a lot, but you may be interested in checking it out. And that's uh, quite a wealth of extras that we have on this, which I think are, are really kind of fun. Um, and, you know, just over an hour and 20 minutes worth of stuff, interviews, which is just great. The commentary is fantastic. And I think the extras are padded out and it's a disc that's well worth picking up. So there we have it. Tammy and the T-Rex from Black Label uh, 101 Films. I think it's an essential. I was very happy to get my hands on a screener and check this one out. I'm going to have to buy this one uh, just to complete my Black Label, even though I have the Vinegar Syndrome 4K as well. I think the extras are terrific um, and I, I think the package is just delightful. It's a real oddity, something that can take that strange pride of place in your collection where people will always ask, what the hell is that movie? I'd love to know your thoughts on the disc, the movie, whatever. Let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.